time I'm about to start talking, they start crowing or roostering or whatever that's called. So what is this on this so sheep? The, the sheep had an abscess and I just let nature take its course and for the abscess to naturally bust, finally opened up. So I drained the abscess and now I'm cleaning. <coughs> what do you mean he's ready to get me? Oh my gosh! What does flog mean? Like try and bite me? Well, they'll, they'll try to peck you, but flog is like, <laughs> like, Get going! <laughs> no wonder Ariana's so scared of that. Ooh, I like the pretty green feathers though. The time has come to where we are almost about to have baby chicks. We're three days away. You are supposed to take the eggs out of the egg turner, which is this thing, and lay them flat on the bottom so that they can hatch out. We have determined that not all of the eggs are fertilized, which is sad, but we'll see how many we end up with. Is that pee or water? Water. Is this pee or water? Water. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, King. It's for me. Oh! I've seen a lot of change. Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day What? Are you eating snow? Is it good? <laughs> Do you know why I'm good at eating snow? Because you're good at eating everything. Why can you eat snow? It won't hurt it's made. your belly. Nope. For some reason. Also healthy. Mm -hmm. Wait, it is healthy? Sure. Is it for real? It's just water. It's water and ice. Don't eat yellow snow though. Look at that. Well, that's a little different, but why don't we eat yellow snow? Make you die. Sick. No, it means it's because there's pee on it. Yeah. <laughs> like there. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. Whoa, you're fast. <laughs> Okay, Dad. We are at the farm. It is snowing. Just kidding. It's acid rain. Is it? Wait, is this our first snow day at the farm? 
Mm, it's not our first snow day at the farm. But. <laughs> the kids are deciding whether or not they like the snow or not, but they have been attempting sledding. The sheep are out in the pasture. The big dogs are right here with me. Ooh. Yeah, it's like our first official snow day at Okoy Farm, and it is beautiful, and I'm wishing it would snow every single day out here. I feel like that'd be nice. Ready? Keep your feet Keep in. Ready? Keep your feet Keep in. Ready? Alan, scoot back. <laughs> yeah. So, for dinner, what'd you make? I made um, this, this stuff. Let's look at this delicious chicken tortilla soup. It's got all kinds of things in it. Just like the last night. That's right. Cheers. 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 Hey, Alan. Are y'all ready to eat at this beautiful five star Michelin um, Academy Award winning Spotify number one hit music radio station? We are out here um, getting cozy. Dixie is joining us for dinner tonight. She should be here any minute. And guys, are we having the coziest night ever or are we having yes! the coziest night ever? Also, what happened to your cheek? Also got it from the snow here. Yeah, we have battle scars from venturing out into the snow. Dixie also made us some homemade bread. Ooh. Oh, and you know what? When she gets here, this would be the perfect time to do... I want Fun that. facts with Dixie. Fun facts with Dixie. That looks so good. Aranda, if you're watching this, help us convince Dixie to start baking bread professionally. I want some. You made it. Made it. It's an app. As an early digital aesthetic. Shipbuilding. And now it's time for fun facts with Dixie. Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. And now it's time for fun facts with Dixie. Since I'm trying to make wine these days, my subject is going to be cork. Okay. You know, it comes from a tree and it's been used for over 5,000 years by humans in food preservation. And that concludes Fun Facts with Dixie. There you go. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. All right, so it is day two of the snow here at the Okoe snow. Farm. Are we loving the snow? Yes. We sure are. We also had the big dogs and the small dogs. We do. We have everyone on the walk this morning yeah. with us. We woke up in the tiny house again. Yeah. We spent the night. We woke up early this morning. PJ made us some eggs and bacon and some biscuits and we watched a few movies in the tiny house. It's just been a really cozy morning. And now we're going on a walk around the farm to take in the snow since it probably will not be here tomorrow. <laughs> you want to hold it? Yeah, when we get back to the tiny house. outside. Look at this. It's big, and I'm going to hit that with it. <laughs>
Hey, bye bye. Bye hell. What thing is this? <laughs> what are you doing? If you saw me, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And why no heel? To pop to you. Why no heel? Turn so so no heel. Look at you. <laughs> Look at this. What do we have a pen? It's so hot, Mio. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm. Bye. My pop shield died here. Now it's up here, my buyer. And I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my buyer. Yeah, my buyer. Yeah, my buyer. Yeah, so first, heat the oven. <gasps> oven. Oven. Okay, and then it says heat oven to 350 degrees. Oh. So come on, come on. That's so incredible. Okay, next, let's move on to the next thing. Come on, let's do this. How many are we gonna make? Three, four, three. Three Well, how many cookies are there? Fifteen. 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 18 cookies, is that right? Yeah. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. So one thing about cookies, uh -huh. whenever you put them in the oven, they bake, so they, what do they do? They get cookies. bigger. So if they get bigger, we should probably give them all a little bit of space, right? A little bit of room to get bigger. Yeah. Like see, see how we're too close together right now? We need space. So, look, I'm gonna give Anna space. I'm gonna give you some some <laughs> space. I'm gonna give you some me some space, okay? So, now we all have space. That's what happened. That's what needs to happen to the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> How many were there? 18. 18 cookies. 19, 17, 16. Wait a second. How many cookies are there supposed to be? 18. Who ate cookies? You get one and you get one. <laughs> We've never eaten cookies for dinner before. No. Oh. What are we gonna eat next, guys? Okay, I'm gonna go get something to make. I like cookies. See, eat this black wheat. Mm -hmm. It's so good, so weird that I, it's so big. Yeah, not big. Not big. A big, 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 big up, yo. Not big. Not big. <laughs> Guys. <gasps> Brownie. Guys, I have a better idea. We have so much, so much brownie batter. My mama Dorothy used to make cakes, and she would take about. She would leave about this much cake mix in the bottom. And then she would take four bowls for me, my sister Megan, my cousin Lauren, and my cousin Rachel. And then she would let us eat it. Ha, ha, ha. 
Daddy, a picture, okay? okay. All right, let's go look at your faces, okay? okay. All right, you ready? Now take the lid off. Where's it cracking? So we can find it. <gasps> right there. What right deal? It's moving. Yeah, I'm moving. Wait, they're really moving because there's a baby inside, or no? Look. Oh my god. It pecked it. It's, so what, guys? What happens? I I've seen that before because the dinosaur did that before. Yeah. Yeah. So look, what happens is they break through, and then the chick will turn in a circle, and it takes it a long time and it will turn in a circle all the way around, and as it turns, it will crack it. Oh my. And then it will, the little Like top a perfect will, circle? Ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if there's any other ones. Is that a pee right there? No, it's water. Oh. If it did, that would be so cool. If it peed in its egg, that would be so cool. And another, like once they're ready, you what? can hear, you can, these aren't doing it, but you can feel them pecking. Oh show. my gosh. Oh, look! <gasps> Alan, it's like a dinosaur. Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. Oh. <gasps> Wait, guys. <gasps> Do you hear it? Yeah. Oh, wait, I did yes. for a second. Hold on. It's not this one either. That means there's another one. <gasps> okay. <gonna> this <laughs> is so cool. We'll have chicks tomorrow. Okay. Are you kidding? Tomorrow? Okay. Like this? This is what this will is make impossible. you want to move to the farm. This is what I'm I remember. already there, sweetie. Okay, I'm so there. Let's do a story real quick. I see her eyes. So sad. I know, me too. Oh my goodness. Chickies, come out. Chickies, come out. <laughs> Making its way. Look, guys, look, it's pecking through. Hi, baby. Oh. You went out so bad. Oh, look at his little beak. Yeah. Oh, me hold this he, one. He's going to do it. He's oh, going to do this one. He's making it. So there's actually more fertile than I thought. So far, these are the only three that I've found that aren't fertile. Oh, oh my God. Oh. It's getting out. They're both getting out. Oh, oh. them after about a day. Hi, baby. Come on, you can do it. You can do that. You can do that. You can do that. Come on. Look at his little eyes. Look. So, when a baby chick comes out, yeah. the first thing they see, they imprint on. And that's what their <gasps> parents are. Hi. We're going to be your parents. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're your brand new parents. You want yeah. You walk by house? You walk by house? Like everyone's going to... Oh, 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 o
that yellow cool poop? That's its first little poop. Can I see inside a bit? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Ah got her coming out. Oh, this one is so funny. Oh hold on. Hi. Oh my gosh. Okay, so how many are officially have officially been born? Six chicks have been born. Eight chicks are cracking through. Oh, nine. Nine chicks. Oh cracking through. I feel like doing this get some going. Yeah, a little motivation never hurt. Fluffy, you like a fluffy sort of chicken. Wow, wow. Oh, what a cutie! Come here, chicky, chicky. Nothing wrong with a little late night snack, especially when it's your first meal ever. Pop chicky, I'm right here. I'm Pop Chino Alfredo Amigo, <laughs> and I love you so much. Oh. And your poop needs to fall off before I pick you up. <laughs> so as of right now, we have 14. We have had some casualties. Not really sure what happened with those, but we've had five that didn't no, make it. And then they've stopped coming out of their shells, which is not a good sign. They're about two two days past their due date, and I know that some of them had chicks in them, so. Um, we had two uh, deformed feet, so I had to make splints out of tape, because they were curved. They were, were going like this, so I'm straightening them out with the tape. PJ is our in-house vet. This is the last one that was born, and I didn't think it was gonna make it. Aww. Guess what? what? One went on my arm right there. <laughs> they are precious. I have, I have this when it poops on me. Um, that would be perfect. Yeah, good idea. Because last time you saw it pooped on me. Mm -hmm. so. Sis, you think you have enough? No. I want four. She wants four. I want, I want that. No, I want to No, I want it. I want it. He's me. I'll get it. <laughs> this is a... <laughs> no! I don't want you guys. What is going on down here? What's going on right here? We are feeding Lil Cutie. <laughs> Little cutie has been on a diet because she was overweight and ever since she's been on a diet she has gotten a lot more energy before she would only make a nest in the hay and never move i didn't know if she was going to make it but now she's doing really good she's looking good she's got more personality now <laughs> but she still loves sweet mm -hmm. Look at all the little babes. And look guys, there's Jet, is that Jet Black? Yeah. On the hill, yeah. I love, I know baby, but I love seeing all these, this new life out here. Well, we are coming to pet the babies. But the moms had other plans. Down 
go put it in there. Ready? Yep. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> this time, watch this. <laughs> Don't go over. PJ had the bright idea to start finally working on the inside of the metal building, aka the hoarder shed. So right now, Dixie and I are in the metal building and we are going to start attempting to organize and clean it up. But I'm gonna show you what it currently looks like. As you can see, there's barely any room to walk. We can barely fit, but... After I clean the whole place up once already. But that was so long. You know but PJ has lived many I, days and no, has please, spent... Please clean this whole place up. The stack of boxes covered that whole side. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know, I do remember, yeah, Dixie had it looking good in here. However, the only problem is Facebook Marketplace exists and PJ <laughs> is addicted to it. And so there's been many days between then and now to fill it up with um, a bunch of stuff. But the good thing is we're gonna be reusing all of this stuff in various houses and projects that we're working on. So, all right, let's get to work. You're really videoing me in my nightgown with my breasticles and everything showing. Everyone's gonna love that. <laughs> Last night I talked, or yesterday on the Vino and Vin, I talked about how I, I am very open and I'm like share too much. And I would, if, like, I would most likely share a picture of my poop if <laughs> it was needed, but probably not appropriate. Talk about the um. The bread that I was obsessed with last night that you made, three different loaves. What's it called? It's called... Um, Something milk. Yeah, sweetened condensed milk bread. And Dixie made a little... Do you still have it? I have some. She made two different kinds. She made regular bread and then she made... I call it... Cal, cat, I want to nickname it caterpillar bread. But last night she made two different kinds. She made a cinnamon roll kind, which... Yes, that's it. This one. Look at that. This is the most, this is my favorite out of all the breads you've made so far. I feel like I say that every time you make a new bread, but you do. Wainer! Yeah. Why don't you wave at the camera? There we go. Today at Okoe Farm, we not only have a dickie, but we got a whiner. Dickie, whiner, dickie whiner. We're putting on a roof that blew off. So we have the new addition on the house. Originally we were gonna go all the way across with windows on that, but we decided to change this room from a dining room to part of the kitchen. So where there is a wall here will be an oversized plaster, we say plaster, I'm not really sure, plaster hood with a 36 inch stove. I really love how this turned out. Raya, you wanna give them the tour? This yep, is so I'll good too. Oh nice. my gosh, this is beautiful. I love these windows. Me too. You do too? You love it. What's not to love? So great. Especially when it's all open. Are we still vaulting it? Maybe, we'll see. So great. All right, fun fact of the day is we're evicting Dixie. Dixie, Dixie. Like hell! <laughs> we are evicting Dixie, but she, instead of moving to Getaway House, Dixie will be moving to the tiny house for now. And then we have plans for a more permanent Dixie witch shed in the near future. But for now, as you can see, 
we're back in construction mode. All right, so while PJ is up at Holiday House knocking down walls, I came down to the tiny house to empty all of our personal items out and get ready for Dixie to move in for the foreseeable future. So today I'm getting out things like this, all the junk that we hide in the closets that we would normally just close the door on. That's all gotta go so that Dixie can start moving her stuff in later on tonight. So here we go. All right, an hour later, give or take, I am finished. All of our things are cleared out. So Dixie is all set to move in tonight and start living her new life in the tiny house, at least for the time being. And then uh, we're gonna decide what we want to do with it after that. I have started demoing the wall in between the new kitchen and the existing trailer part of the house. The whole trailer is going to be gutted and torn out, so the trailer will no longer be here. And the reason why we're gonna do that is because when they added on to the house, they basically built a house onto it. So they framed a brand new house around a trailer. We have the stud walls for a regular house, and then we have the walls for the trailer. So when we rip all of the trailer out, we're gaining this much square footage all the way around the trailer part of the house. From here, all the way to here, this wall's coming out. It'll be restructured with a higher beam and then all of the trailer ceiling is gonna get ripped out. And um, <laughs> I'm real excited about it. The original siding is the trailer, the metal aluminum 50s trailer. All that will go away. And then when they built a house around the trailer, they had the cedar siding, which I think is gorgeous. Um, but all of this wall will be going away. The ceiling that we have in here will continue all the way through into the rest of the kitchen. Is this an eight foot ceiling? This is an eight foot ceiling. This feels but bigger. We, we may end up actually taking it a little bit higher or vaulting it, but the final dimensions of the new kitchen will be 20 this way by 16 foot this way. And it will also be connected to the dining room. All of this will be open with higher ceilings and windows that go all the way, so all the way here all the way here, which will let in tons of natural light. The windows will be able to go higher because the ceiling won't be here anymore, it'll be higher. It's open to the living room, which is also the uh, front entry. This will be where you get mountain views back here. We have all of our new windows that are going throughout the house. This will be a huge sectional couch that faces this wall. We were going back and forth on these and we decided we'd rather have more wall space. So we are gonna eliminate these. So it'll just be the vertical paneling that goes across here with the TV and potentially a fireplace. But I was thinking about the fireplace. That means the other side would have to, it would cut into the other room, right? Because of the insert? No, because then they make shallow ones so it would just step out into here. Uh, which would allow if we wanted to do a bookcase on either side we could do that um and then this portion of the house is not completely worked out yet we know that this will be a bedroom with probably bunks this will be the primary bedroom and then on that far wall there will be a door that goes into the trailer side which will all get demoed out and that'll be turned into the primary bathroom and then the rest of this trailer section will be another bedroom and a mudroom because it is a farmhouse. It gets really dirty, really muddy, really easily. We hate it, but we're gonna love it. No, I'm you, so excited. you I forgot. Wait. Ready to party, party! You forgot the bathroom. We need to squeeze oh, in yeah, yeah, yeah. a laundry room, a bathroom, and a bedroom. All right here. So 
saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. I saw three ships come sailing in, sailing in, come sailing in. I saw three ships come sailing.